power formula on transcendental functions. Okay? Transcendental functions. Ito yung mga sine, mga cosine. Okay? So, evaluate the following integrals. Number one, uh, integral of sine cube x cosine x dx is equal to, okay, recall the uh, power formula u to the n du is equal to u to the n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c, provided that n is not equal to negative 1. Okay? n is 3. Puede. If we let u equal sine x, the derivative of u is equal to the derivative of sine x is positive cosine x dx. Okay? So, pwede? Pwede. So, u to the n, du. What is u? u is sine x. Okay. Sine x. n is 3. Okay, 3. du is cosine x dx. So, as you can see, wala tayong kailangang i-insert na factor and wala rin tayong kailangang i-balance dito. Saktong sakto yan. Then, we can apply the power formula. Okay? That is equal to sine 3 plus 1, okay, raised to 4, x over 3 plus 1, 4, plus c. Final answer. Yes? Dali lang, no? Okay, number 2. Uh, the integral of cosine uh, raised to 5, see. Sine x, d. Sine x, d. Okay? Um, if we let u equals cosine x, what is du? The derivative of cosine x is minus sine x dx. Power is 5. Okay? So, u to the n, that's cosine. Oh, so, what's that? Cosine raised to 5 x sine x dx is equal to let's see u to the n di ba? u cosine cosine x u to the n so 5 yung power 5 x then du is minus sine x dx so magkaiba merong nadagdag na negative 1 or negative sign dito so to balance and to maintain the value of the integral, we need to put this uh, inverse, inverse uh, the reciprocal outside, no? So that is minus 1. Or minus 1 over 1, that's negative. Parehas lang, no? Negative. So, ayan, balance na yan. Then we can apply the power formula, and that is equal to negative cosine 5 plus 1, 6x over 6 plus c. And this is the final. Yes? Okay. Madali lang ang transcendental functions. Okay, number three. Um, the integral of sine y dy over the square root of 1 plus cosine y. Okay? So, ano to? So, unang tingin, pwede natin na uh, itaas itong 1 plus cosine y, no? Square root. Gawin natin uh, negative, raised to negative 1 half, no? So, let's rewrite this as a sine, or ito muna. So, 1 plus cosine y, in square root ito sa ilalim, itaas natin, that's negative 1 half. Sine y, dy. So, yung u natin dito is 1 plus cosine y, the power is negative 1 half, and not equal to negative 1. And yung du natin will be sine y dy. Okay? Tingnan natin kung kailangan natin mag-insert ng factor or we need to balance the integral. Okay? So, we let u equals 1 plus cosine y. Again, the power is minus 1 half. Derivative of u, what is the derivative of 1 plus cosine y? Or derivative of cosine is negative sine y dy. Okay? So, tuloy natin. 
So, the integral of 1 plus cosine y raised to minus 1 half sine y dy is equal to yung form ng power formula. u to the n, du. What is u? The integral of 1 plus cosine y, what is the power? Minus 1 half du is negative sine y dy. So, parang parehas lang ito nung number 2, no? So, meron tayong kailangan insert na negative 1 and sa labas, kailangan natin maglagay ng negative reciprocal, no? A negative 1 din. So, we need to put negative to balance or to maintain the value of the integral, okay? Then, we can apply the power formula and that is equal to minus, negative, no? Minus then u, ito yung u, 1 plus cosine y raised to minus 1 half plus 1. And that is positive 1 half over 1 half plus c. Okay? E equals, taas natin yung 2. So this is minus 2, 1 plus cosine y raised to 1 half plus c. So kung gusto nyo, square root natin, pwede rin. Minus 2 times the uh, square root of 1 plus cosine y plus c. Final answer. Okay? Dali. Yes. Number 4. Okay. What is the uh, integral of cosine, uh, cosine x dx over... Uh, sine square x. Yan. Okay? So, ito, pwede rin mo rin tong i-rewrite as as natin tong nasa denominator. So, this will become a sine. Okay? Or sine x. Pwede rin to isulat as ganito, ano? Yan. Pwede rin yan. Minus 2. Para mas madali nyo makita yung power, no? So, cosine x dx. Okay? Now, if we let so, pwede din di gawin, ano? Itong mga let na to. Kita naman kasi, no? But sa mga nagsisimula pa lang, mas maayos to, no? So, if we let u as equal to uh, sine, sine x, du is, what is the derivative of sine? That's positive cosine. Cosine x, x, the power is minus 2 and not equal to negative 1. So, the power formula is applicable. Okay? So, rewrite lang natin. Sine x raised to minus 2, cosine x, x. And that is equal to yung form ng ating uh, u to the n, integral of u to the n du. So the integral of u is sine x. Sine x, okay, what is the power? Minus 2. du is cosine x, dx. Equal, equal. So, pwede mo nang gamitin agad yung power formula. Wala ka nang insert na factor, wala na rin i-balance dito. Balance na. Okay? Yes. So, u is sine x minus, three, uh, minus 2 plus 1. Minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1 over minus 1 plus c. Okay? So, pwede nating ibaba itong sine x kasi negative ito. Ano? So, this is equal to negative 1 over sine x plus c. Final answer. Okay? Final answer. Yep? Or may naisip pa kayong iba. What is 1 over sine x? Cosecant, no? So, this is equal to, also equal to minus cosecant of x plus c. O, pwede na rin dito tayo. Okay na yan. Okay, another? Number, uh, number five. What is the integral of uh, sine sine square 3x cosine 3x dx? So, meron na dito na dagdag ng mga coefficient pa, no? Sige. Try natin ito, no? So, ito, pwede rin natin ding i-write as uh, sine 3x, labas natin yung power, square, cosine 3x dx. Okay? So, if we let u equal sine 
3x, power is 2. du, what is the derivative of sine 3x? So, the derivative of sine 3x is cosine, di ba? Cosine 3x, then derivative of 3x, which is 3dx. So, ginamitin natin to Chain rule na, no? Okay? So, ayan. So, if I'm going to rewrite this again, para makita natin, the integral of sine 3x squared cosine 3x dx is equal to u to the n du. Okay? Integral of u sine 3x power is 2. Okay? du is 3 cosine 3x dx. Magkatulad ba? Hindi. Merong nadagdag na 3. So, to balance this integral and to maintain the value of it is of this integral, we need to... Anong kailangan? Magdagdag tayo sa labas ng reciprocal. Di ba? So, lagay tayo dito. One third. Balance na? Balance na. So, we can now apply the power formula. Okay? So, this is equal to one third times u. What is u? Sine 3x, okay, raised to 2 plus 1, so 3, over 3, plus 3, okay? So, this is equal to 1 over 9, sine 3x cubed plus c, over, pwede rin siya ganito, 1 over 9, sine cubed 3x, Kahit alin dyan, tama, no? Parehas lang yan. Okay? Sige, isa pa. Number 6. So, what is the integral of sine 4x dx cosine cube 4x? O, dito, makikita mo na agad kung alin ang u, alin ang yung dito, no? O, pwede natin i-rewrite ito as the integral of cosine 4x. Ito na lang. Labas na agad natin. Minus 3. Then sine 4x. If we let u equals cosine 4x, what is du? What is the derivative of cosine 4x? So derivative of cosine is minus sine. Okay? So minus sine 4x. Then, derivative of 4x, chain rule ito, derivative of 4x is, well, 4, no? 4 dx. 4 is equal to minus 4, sine 4x dx. Then, rewrite ulit natin to. The integral of cosine 4x raised to minus 3, sine 4x dx is equal to, yung ating u to the n du, the integral of u, Cosine 4x, power is minus 3. Okay, minus 3. Then du is minus 4 sine 4x dx. Balance ba? Hindi. Merong minus 4. So, anong kailangan gawin natin? Kung may factor dito na minus 4, lagay natin dito sa labas ng negative 1 over 4. Reciprocal. No? Yan. Balance na? Yes. So, pwede na yung power formula. So, this is equal to negative 1 over 4. U is cosine 4x raised to minus 3 plus 1, which is minus 2, over minus 2 plus C. So, this is equal to negative 1, or positive, no? Positive 1 over 8. Purahin ko lang to. Okay, positive 1 over 8. Negative 1 fourth times negative 1 half. So, 1 over 8. Cosine 4x raised to minus 2 plus c. Oh, pwede rin pala itong ibaba. No? Ibaba na rin natin. So, this is equal to 1 over 8 cosine square 4x plus c. Okay. So, ayan. Madali lang. Kayang-kaya nyo yan. Mm -hmm. 
1 over cosine, pwede mo rin itong gawing secant if you want. Yep. Yes. Okay, number uh, number 7. Medyo may challenge. What is the integral of uh, quantity 1 minus sine sine x squared then cosine x dx? Okay. Parang ganun din to, ano? Okay, if we let let uh, u equals 1 minus sine x, what is the derivative of u? Derivative down nito. So, derivative of sine is cosine, ano? So, uh, okay. So, minus cosine x dx. Correct? Ayun, no? may minus kasi dito. Kaya, tama lang. Derivative of 1 is 0. Derivative of minus sine x is minus cosine x. So, this is equal now to u to the n du, the integral of, the integral of, yeah, ito, 1 minus sine x, power is 2, du is minus cosine x dx. So, hindi balance, no? compare natin dito sa original nating integral, merong negative 1. So, we need to put negative here, outside, to balance and maintain the Integral. Okay? So, the power formula is now applicable. So, this is minus. U is 1 minus sine x raised to 2 plus 1, 3. Over 3 plus c. Okay? So, meron pa ba? O, yan ang answer. Yes? Yep. Ilang, no? Okay. Um... Okay, last na. Last, uh, last problem, number 8. Then, sunod na lang sa ibang video, no? Doon natin gawin yung medyo gagamitan na natin ng mga identity. Okay? Yep, number number 8. Uh, what is the integral of uh, tangent, tangent uh, y, secant square y, dy? Okay. So, dito sa unang tingin, anong gagamitin natin? Baka gamitin natin si Kante, no? Yung U to the N. But, uh, let's try U equals tangent Y. O, sige, if we let U equals tangent Y, what is the derivative of U or the derivative of tangent Y? Derivative of tangent y is secant where y dy. Okay? So, rewrite ko lang ulit, no? Tangent y, secant square y dy is equal to yung form natin, u to the n du, the integral of u, tangent y, power is 1. Diba? Lagay na natin. Power is 1. Then, uh, uh, du, which is secant square y dy. So, ito yung du natin. Kamukha ba nito? So, wala tayong kailangang i-balance dito. Balance na. Okay? The power is 1. Ang condition natin sa power formula is that dapat yung n is not equal to minus 1. E positive 1 yan. So, we can apply the power formula. Okay? So, this is equal to uh, ano yung u? Tangent y. Tangent y. Okay, 1 plus 1 squared, okay, over 2 plus C. Or, pwede rin siya as 1 half tangent square Y plus C. Yes? So, this is the final. Okay?